if you have a high density screen, things usually look very small on it. That's why you will most likely wish to change its DPI settings to a different value to make things reasonably sized. Here's how you do that. Uh, go to display and choose a value from this list. I use the set custom DPI feature and I use a ridiculously high value of 200% just to make it obvious which programs look nice and which ones do not. I will test how different browsers look like in this environment. Let's begin with Opera. Um, I will open slash dot. Notice that the text is pretty blurry. Not only the text inside the web page itself, but also the text in the program's menus. In contrast, look at the labels here on the taskbar. The text is nice and crisp. Let's try a different browser. This time, this time is Firefox 4. Notice that the text isn't blurry, neither are the images, and neither are the program's menu items. Everything looks crisp and easy to read. Let's try another browser, Chrome. You can already see that the widgets are blurry, the buttons, the window title, and the contents of the web page itself. All is blurry. In contrast, these buttons here at the window border, they look nice. And finally, let's take a look at IE. This is version 9. The window border looks crisp. The text looks nice as well. Let's take a look at other programs. Notepad++. The window title. Nicely written, but the menu items are blurry. So is the text in the program's window. Let's check out Skype. And in the meantime, OneNote. OneNote looks nice. Skype looks pretty ugly. The text is blurry and notice that the buttons be be begin to flicker as I move my mouse on top of them. We'll see if that happens here. No, it doesn't. As you can see, most programs don't play nicely with custom DPI settings unless those programs are Microsoft ones. In this case, if it's a Microsoft application, usually it means that it uses the right APIs to look properly on different types of screens. To deal with this, you have to use the right API functions of the operating system. And there is an article on MSDN which explains how this has to be done writing hard API applications. Take a look, read it, and try to apply all these tips when making your own programs.